In this session, we are going to talk about pointer concepts. First thing you need to understand is in pointer, we use the star operator, it's called as the dereference operator. Address is the reference operator, star is the dereference operator. Star in C has many meanings based on where it is used. Star can also mean multiplication, but the compiler is smart enough to understand when you're talking about pointers and when you're talking about multiplication. Say I declare a short integer b as 50. I don't need to use the word int with b because I can just use the keyword short and b with the initial value 50. So let's say b has an initial value 50 and exists at address 1000. So address of b is 1000, the value of b is 50. So if I print address of b, it is going to print 1000. If I print just b, percentage hib, it gives me the value or contents of b. The value or content of b happens to be 50. Now let's proceed further. Now let us assume I declare a pointer of the type short. So I say short star ptr. This indicates that ptr is also a variable except that it's a special type of variable where it can contain the addresses of short type of variables only. It cannot hold the addresses of int, float, double and so on. In the few next few minutes, you will know why that is the case. Since PTR can contain address, say I give PTR the address of B. So PTR is going to contain the address 1000. 1000 happens to be the address of B. Since PTR itself is a variable, PTR also has an address at 1004. So when I say PTR contains the address of B, technically I can say PTR points to B or PTR contains the address of B. So if I just print PTR, it is going to print 1000 just like any other value. But if I say star PTR, it is going to print what is the value or what is the content at address 1000. What is the content or value at address 1000? It is 50. So thereby star is referred to as the indirection operator or the dereference operator. Indirection because from here it directs you towards 50 and gives you the value. Now the moral of the story is if I say ptr is equal to address of b, I say ptr is a pointer to a variable of the type short. Star ptr gives you what is the value or content of b. PTR simply gives you the address of B. So B will print 50 this way or I can print star PTR and it will still print 50. Now you may have noticed at some places I have done this particular declaration or I shall be doing this particular declaration short star B okay short star B so, sorry short star PTR is equal to address of B or I can say short star PTR. This is a better way. I can say short star PTR is equal to null or give it some address. This is not a good idea to do it because PTR being a variable is going to contain random addresses in it and using random addresses is not a good idea because if you are not careful you may crash the system. A lot of compilers will give you a warning so very rarely you will be able to do anything crazy like this. Now a note on scanf. If you look at scanf we are passing address of a address of b. We are passing address of the variable. Address means pointer. So any number we pass to scanf it assumes that it is an address. So even if you pass an integer number it assumes it to be an address. That's why scanf doesn't warn you when you do not use the address operator because it thinks that is a number and that number is an address. But when you are executing the program, the program may not behave, or behave per expectations or may also crash. Now, the last thing I would like to discuss in this particular section is something called as pointer assignments. All right. So let's talk about pointer assignments. So this should clarify your printing of PTR and address of B and all. So you can take a look at this diagram. This will give you a real idea. Star PTR and B mean the same. It will print 50. 
PTR and address of B mean the same, it will print 1000. And if I don't initialize PTR, it will take a random address. Now let's talk about pointer assignments. Let's get this page out of the way and let's talk about pointer assignments. Okay. Okay, let's me cover this part off. Let me say I declare int x with the initial value 10. So x is a variable of the type integer with the initial value 10 and let us say it is residing at address 100. All right. Now, let us say I have another character variable ch residing at address 102 and the name is ch with the initial value a. Just for simplicity, I have assumed integer of 2 bytes, but generally integer is going to be 4 bytes. Now what I have done is I have declared a pointer to an integer type of data which takes the address of x. So star p is going to contain the value 100. 100 happens to be the address of x. This is ok. I can initialize it at the time of variable declaration, at the time of pointer declaration or I can just declare this star p equal to null and in the next step I can say p is equal to address of x. Now when I say int star q is equal to address of ch, this is not acceptable because q is a pointer to an integer type of data whereas ch is a address or address of ch is a address to an character type of data. Now you may be wondering why I can't take an integer pointer and give it the address of character. I'll do the explanation in a second. But if int star p and star q are pointers to integer type of data, I can give p the address of q or q the address of p. This is perfectly fine because both are referring to integer types of data. Similarly, I can copy the content. Okay, if p is referring to 10, okay, and q is referring to 20, the content 20 referred by q can be copied to p. Absolutely not a problem. Now I'll help you understand why you cannot assign star q is equal to address of ch. Let us think in our memory we are starting from address 0. This is 0th byte, 1st byte and 2nd byte. Now let us say in the 0th and 1st byte I am storing 100. So this is lower all bits are zeros. This is 100 in binary. Now this is at the for second address location, I am storing the character A. This is the ASCII value of character A, 65. Now, if Q is referring to the address of an integer, when I say star Q, it knows that integer is of 2 bytes. It will work perfectly. But if I take Q and assign it to the address of character, it will not work correctly because it will also think that character is of 2 bytes, whereas character is of only 1 byte. Since every data type has a different sizes, you cannot assign the pointer variable of one data type to the address of another data type. Because when you use the star operator, it needs to know the data type it is pointing to. So an integer pointer can only contain the address of an integer variable. A character pointer can only hold the address of a character variable. This way when you use the star operator, it will correctly go to the memory and choose whether it has to read 1 byte, 2 byte or 3 bytes or 4 bytes and so on.